Right. So, next talk up is Elin. Come on up. Hello? I'll warn you guys, this is uh, dead week, so I made these slides as fast as possible, which meant cheating a little bit. Can you guys hear me without these? Oh, cool. Okay. Well, um, I'm Elon Timmons, and like most of you, I love doing it myself. Um, when it came to Cal Poly a few years ago, I was really interested in all my classes. I really enjoyed all of them. Um, but I, I still didn't feel like I was learning fast enough, and I wanted to learn a little bit faster. So I sort of took it upon myself to, to go out there and sort of teach myself. At the time, I was really interested in um, product design and manufacturing, and so I thought the best way to teach myself about that was to make a product and try to bring it to market. Um, so I made Keezy. Um, it's an alternative to the simple key ring, uh, just another way to hold your keys. Um, and so I, I crowdfunded Keezy to raise the money I needed to um, pay for the per first production run. And I, I learned a lot of things while crowdfunding it. Um, I really enjoyed the process, actually designing the product, um, raising the money, manufacturing it, prototyping it, all of that. Um, but as I went further and further in, I sort of realized that this was far from the ideal process and that the current, the current do-it-yourself business process wasn't ideal. Um, and I learned, I, learned, I learned a lot of things. Um, I, really, I really learned that there were many aspects of being a business owner that didn't interest me um, and <laughs> that I wasn't good at. And so, you know, I, you know, like the bookkeeping or inventory management or making my logo or accounting, right? All these things I had no idea how to do. All I wanted to do was a design a product and, you know, sell it. That's it. Um, but I sort of, you know, being a, being a new time business guy or something, I had, had to sort of learn how to do all these other things and, and, figuring, and figure it out. Um, and you know, there are so many other people out there who, who love the things that I don't, right? There's someone who really enjoys making logos and someone who likes the accounting, right? Um, but again, I, I was a new, new time person, so I sort of ended up having to do it all. Um, I think one of the problems is, is finding the people that, that sort of share your vision um, and, and, and sort of the people that, that get what you're trying to do. And, and not just, you know, hey, I get it. Uh, you know, finding people who, who will buy it from you or something like that or who want to, you know, pay for it. But, but really finding the people who understand it and, and saying, hey, you know, I want to do it myself with you and, and work with you on it and sort of fill in where you can't. Um, I believe in, in bringing people together to sort of do what they love, um, especially if what they love is what I hate. I really enjoy that. Um, you know, I, th I think it's, it's really cool if, I, if, if you can... If you can bring a lot of, you know, I, if I could, you know, get together with the, the logo person who, who enjoys designing logos, which I hate, or the person who enjoys bookkeeping, you know, all of these different things. There's someone who really enjoys doing what I, what I don't like, and I think when you pull all those people together, it's a really powerful combination. Um, I also believe in, in social entrepreneurship, which I think is a pretty cool thing. I think right now people, people sort of see it as, you know, starting a business with, with a core philanthropic component. Um, and I, I'm sure you guys have all heard the old saying, you know, you can give a man a fish or you can teach a man to fish. And I'm a really strong believer in, in teaching a man to fish. Um, and that I think that people, people must be empowered to help themselves, you know, to do it for themselves. And I think that, I think that a solution can be found to all of that. Um, and that it all, it all really starts with, which each of you guys, right, sort of, you know, finding something you know, even if it's something you don't know how to do or you've never done before or you, you don't have experience, you don't know if you'd be good at it, sort of just tackling it, you know, embracing the do-it-yourself, the do-it-yourself idea and just sort of going at it, seeing if you are good at it or not. Maybe it's something you don't want to try doing yourself again, um, and maybe it is. But, you know, and if it's, if it's not something you want to end up doing yourself, then you can work on finding the people who, who, wi who will do it and, and who do enjoy it. So my suggestion is, you should do it yourself, but you should not do it by yourself. So thanks, thanks for, for listening, and thanks for having me. Any questions? Thanks so much. Great job. Hey, look at that. He even finished early. He gets an extra round of applause for finishing early. Good job.
I want to hang out with her. She looks cool.